Hey guys, Heather here, and we just got back from a couple of estate sales in our town. Um, after traveling for 127 for two days in a row, eight hour, nine hour days, um, it was super exciting to find just a couple of estate sales only five or 10 minutes from home. So I wanna show you what I got from those couple of estate sales. Got these really sweet, handmade, let me back up a little bit, sweaters with Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. Some granny handmade those for her little grandsons or nephews or whoever, but gosh, aren't they sweet? They're perfect. Perfect, perfect shape. Um, picked up the, oh, we're upside down in the bin. That's just nice. Good job, good job. <laughs> Let me get them all put back in there so I know that they're safe. This came unglued, that's what it was. Okay, careful with this guy. These are vintage Hallmark centerpieces. Um, so there's the clown and it's called Hallmark Plans a Party. And he's the clown, he's 16 and a half inches tall and he just is one of those little pineapple guys that just folds out. Um, there's also a watering can, perfect for a vintage bridal shower or a baby sprinkle, like a little girl sprinkle for a mom who's had already a baby girl, but you wanna have a little sprinkle instead of a big shower. Be cute to have a watering can theme. And then another little baby or birthday party one. It's a little cutesy teddy bear, all from Hallmark. They are not dated, but based on the pictures and things, I'm, I'm guessing 70. So I thought those were really cute. I've never seen those. Um, what is this? I picked up this, actually this wasn't from the estate sale, but I had washed it, so it's it's from a couple of hauls ago. I don't even remember, I don't even remember when I got this. But it is a vintage Walmart basic editions denim shirt, but it is lined with fleece here, and in the sleeves they are quilted and lined. I actually got it thinking that I would wear it, but it is an extra large, and I love a good, like, oversized shirt and oversized sweatshirt especially because it's warm and cozy but this is like way oversized so i'm gonna put it on etsy because it is vintage walmart 90s basic editions um back to the estate sale the mister found this portable tape recorder cassette situation the whole thing is in there every little part and piece and it is in mint beautiful condition um let me pop out that main section and show you isn't that perfect? So shiny, so perfect. The pops of blue, even the little extra cassettes are in there for recording on. Um, it's just in mint condition, so we couldn't hardly pass that up. Other than the box is missing one flap, but other than that, it's still pretty darn good. <clears throat> uh, I got this really cute dress. It's handmade by the little lady who lived there. It's got, actually, I kind of want to keep it. Um, it's got like an elastic neckline, little bunched elastic sleeves. It's long, would probably go, I'm 5'7", and it would probably go, you know, just almost to my ankles, but it doesn't stop there. This is the dress, it smells like kerosene, uh, and she made a little overshirt to go over it. A little collared overshirt with one front pocket. Um, I just, I don't know that those go together, but she sure thought they did, and isn't that just precious? It buttons all the way down of the same material. So basically, while I'm listing this, you get a twofer because this shirt can go with a pair of pants or it can go over that adorable dress. So I thought that was really cute. They had a ton of fabric. Let me tell you about this basement. Mr. took some photo or some video, so you'll probably see it, but I know that sometimes this kind of thing is hard to show up on camera. The basement was so full of cobwebs. I mean, cobweb city. Like, I don't know how long it had been since these elderly people had been in this basement, but it was super cobwebby. Like, I was scared that a spider was gonna be in my hair the whole time I was down there. And the steps were super crazy. Like, it was all cement, obviously, in the basement, and the steps were cement even, but they were like coming away from the wall and totally angled down, and then you had to I, at 5'7", which I am tall for a girl, I had to duck, like bend my knees to get through the little doorway at the bottom of the stairs and into the basement and then stand up. But even then I didn't want to stand all the way up because I was scared that my head was gonna to touch the cobwebs. So that's set the scene for you there. This lady had tons of cabinet space down there, but literally it was so dirty and cobwebby. 
I mean, it had to have been years since anybody had been down there. I imagine at one point they had it totally magnificently spotless because she had a whole wall of cabinets full of fabrics and sewing supplies and decorations and things. So I'm sure that at one point she had that magnificently stored and meticulously stored. But now after yesterday, they said a ton of people went through the estate sale and we weren't in town, so we didn't get to go. They said it was chaos, that so many people were in and out of there. It was just nuts. Um, but so a lot of the stuff was all torn out of the cabinets. It was all over the floor in you know, boxes that people had rummaged through. And I'm not saying the people met, left it a mess, but it just wasn't like I would have thought that this little lady would have stored these things up in this cabinet. So I picked out some of the least cobwebby pieces of material that I could find that were super 70s or 60s. This is like the most precious polyester, yellow background with little daffodils, bright orange, bright yellow, bright green. This is my absolute favorite. It's just basically cotton, but it's so groovy. This, I'm not sure what this is. It's almost like an outdoor furniture fabric. It's it's pretty heavy. It's, it's like you can see the weaving in it. Um, but I just thought the colors were so cute. There's purple in there and green and blue. Anytime I see purple in anything vintage, I get excited because it just doesn't seem like you find purple very much. And then this was actually in that bag. I didn't pick it on purpose, but um, it is some little fruits and things on there. It's pretty groovy too, but it's, it's more plain than the others. It's funny, I just noticed on here it's stamped copyright J. Manus Co. Incorporated. And my cousin's name is Jennifer. <laughs> with that last name, Jennifer Manus, so that's kind of funny. Um, she probably might not like that I put her name on, on my video, but I just think that's neat that that, that was stamped with basically her initials. Um, she's married now, so I guess it doesn't matter, but still, it's kind of cool. Found this fiberglass tray. Usually they're really big, full size. This is like a child's tray. It's very small. You can see like maybe 12 inches, um, but I thought it was really cute and vibrant, and the back is just you can see actually you can probably see through it so it's not really showing you very good but the back is more basically just white and you can see the fiberglass lines in it i uh, picked up actually the mister if you watched the video where we were at this estate sale the mister says to me with the camera rolling do you want this and of course i said no because i don't really do brass candle holders but then he turned it over and i don't know if you can tell it or not but it says holt howard japan and they he happened to ask the people running the sale do they know where the other one was and they said no but then the next thing you know they told us when we were in the basement that they found the other one in the house and the guy had put it aside for us upstairs so while we were digging in the basement so that was super nice of them to find that and they both have their holt howard japan stickers on the bottom so that was kind of cool i didn't even realize Holt howard made something like brass but i know he was a dollar it was like a dollar store dollar dime store brand um so it's not surprising that they made candle holders i got the selecto deluxe tie rack made in the usa in the original box whoops the screws are still there to attach it to the wall to hang your ties it's wooden on the back which i thought was cute keep those screws in there so they don't get lost um this beautiful tray that was marked 1971 on the back and we picked up these cool in the original box leather boots in a size five and a half the color is ian the lady at the sale told us that her parents bought them for her back in the day when she was young so they're in wonderful condition they're like a cherry red color they've got some scuffs and some wear but boy is that bottom just not perfect it's just perfect um the toes have some wear and love but boy aren't they broken in and just like ah uh, just so cool. Um, they don't, they're not marked at all inside. Um, and they're really, they just don't look worn at all other than just those few little scuffs here and there. So we thought it was super cool, um, pair of retro old boots and that she still had them after all these years when her parents, she said she remembered them taking the, taking her to the Western store in the mall parking lot here in our town, which I can't even tell you if I remember there being a Western store in our mall parking lot, so, and I'm 40, so, you know, that maybe not, wouldn't be something I remember as a kid, but like, I don't think there was one when I was little. Um, and she was probably 20 plus years older than I was, obviously. So it would have, it would have been a long, long time ago that that store was in the mall parking lot. But I think that's so cool. Acme, the world's largest boot maker. Um, so I just thought that was super cool that she had that memory. 
Um, but that is everything that I got. Oh no, it's not. One more thing. I didn't see it in there. It was left in the bottom of the box. It was really cute. Hand painted, hand glazed, good morning and good night ceramic light switch cover. I thought it was really, really sweet. I think it's cute that the good night's on the bottom where the light switch flips down. Um, so of course I picked that up too. It's got some crazing, it's got some age, but I thought it was really, really sweet that somebody had made that themselves and probably put it in their kiddos rooms. So that really is all. And um, I hope you guys stay tuned. We've got a local town festival coming up next week. Um, two weeks after that, we've got a festival that's about an hour away and there's usually big yard sales around that. And then two, three weeks after that, we have um, another big local festival where there's a ton of rummage sales. So stay tuned. We'll be having lots of rummaging, lots of thrifting, lots of estate sales, and lots of hauls to show you what I got. So that's that. Take care.